Good morning. Today I want to show you something which I think is the coolest thing we've ever built. So as well as as well as running this channel, we also build our own plugins and have done for years and years. And Block Injector is one of our plugins which we released a few weeks ago, which has gone great. We were featured in WP Tavern, which is good. Sales have gone really well. And, and essentially what it lets you do, it lets you create layouts within the Gutenberg block editor and then insert those layouts within your post pages and also specific places within WooCommerce. So these are the locations, so your post pages and WooCommerce, as I said, but then you can also set them at different positions within there as well. So within the particular product page, you can set them in specific places. So it's really, really cool. But the next stage is gonna be even cooler. At least I think it will be anyway. So we've what we've done, there's kind of two elements to what I wanna to show you today, give you an update, and I think they're really exciting. So we've set some, we've added some WooCommerce conditions. So you can target your blocks, or you will be able to, at specific WooCommerce conditions. These are the ones we're starting with that are on the screen. So you can say, right, only show these layouts and the products are in stock, or out of stock, or on back order, or just on products on sale. And we've also, which is, I'm really excited about, and I've been wanting to do this for ages, is we've, um, allowed you to insert dynamic content. This is an example of one in practice. So this is a Black Friday sales banner that I want to show on specific products that are just on sale in my WooCommerce store. So I've set, I've created my layout just using the uh, Gutenberg cover block. I've added some content. And the first thing I've done is said, over in location here on the right, I said, right, only show this banner on any products of mine that are on sale. And I want to show it at the top of those products. You see, I could also add it in specific places other specific places, but I only want this to show along the top. And then down here, you'll see we've added the short codes where you can actually insert some, some dynamic content in here. So what I've added on here is, I said, right, just bring in the title, and that's the product title, and also bring in the product price, okay? So what we've done, we've said, right, only show this banner on specific products that are uh, on sale, and then dynamically bring the product title and the price title and create a nice light layout of them. So if I go to my store now, go to any of my products that are on sale, you see I've got a few on sale. Let's have a look at this Aqua Windbreaker. Can you see how it's dynamically brought that layout into that product? And it's dynamically brought the product uh, the product title and also the price of the product in dynamically as well. Now obviously you can lay this out any way you like. You can have this block appear any way you like within the product page, but hopefully you can see the kind of power that this should give you when you're running your campaigns. Uh, let's look at this one here again. This one here should bring that in dynamically. And if I want to edit this, I just go um, back here and change it here. And it will automatically update on any of those products that I've that I've used it on. So if I refresh this, you can see how it's changing. So it's really, really powerful. I think it's incredibly exciting. I'm so excited about it. Right, I just wanna show you one, one more example of where this could be used. And this is using the uh, stock products in stock um, condition, WooCommerce condition. So you see over on the right here, I've said, right, just show this on any products that are in stock. And we're gonna use dynamic content, which is we're gonna bring the post title and we're actually gonna bring in the stock. How many stock are left? So we're saying only so many are stock left. At the moment we're saying uh, products. And let me just go back to my site here and let's look at a few of these products. So Autumn Jumper. And then we can, can you see how it's highlighting that we've only got three left? So we're trying to incentivize your customers to take action because we're making it really clear how many are left. Let's just go and see another example of this. Check out these blue jeans. And again, you can see how it's dynamically bringing the product title and it's also bringing how much stock is left. So hopefully that gives you a really cool idea of why I'm so excited about it. I think it's a really, really exciting thing. There is one other thing that I'm not showing you today, which we're currently working on to do with full site editing. And if we pull it off, I'm gonna come back next week and show you that because I'm even more excited about what that potential for that one. So there we go, there's a look at Block Injector, the next version. I'm hoping to have it uh, released in the next few weeks. Thanks so much for watching. If you wanna keep up to date with Block Injector and other Gutenberg stuff, hit the subscribe button. If you can give this a like, that would be amazing as well. Thanks very much and I'll see you soon.